Practical advice from Muzdalifa. If you know for certain that your bus or conveyance will take a while and there is no harm in using the facilities in Arafat, then go ahead and use them in Arafat before going to Muzdalifa because Muzdalifa is the least easy place to access anything from bathroom to food vendors in all of the monastic. It's the place that has the least number of, uh, of services. Using the bathroom may be most difficult in Muzdalifa uh, when compared to anywhere else in Hajj. There are several bathrooms throughout Muzdalifa. Look for the multi-story buildings. There are some bathrooms that are multi-story buildings. Look for those. Do not waste your time trying to wait in line on the ground floor. In the multi-story bathroom buildings, the ground floor will have lines that are an hour and a half, two hours, three hours long. If you go up to the first floor, you will find five minute lines. If you go to the second floor, you'll find uh, no lines. And if you go to the third floor, you, you'll find the bathrooms are not even used. There's not no line and they're, they haven't even been used yet. So bypass the crowd and go uh, upstairs. Most people don't go to Hajj enough uh, in order to even learn these things, but somebody who knows is telling you uh, uh, so that you can save your time uh, in Muzdalifa uh, and uh, you know try to try to also uh, you know preserve time and uh, preserve uh, 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 facilities. If someone else needs uh, something, whether it's food or a bathroom turn or whatever, prefer other people over yourself as long as you're able to and help other people as well uh, in this time. Uh, not eating a great deal will also help you in this regard. Uh, so just be prepared for Muzdalifa to be some uh, place that you shouldn't expect uh, facilities with ease. So prepare for it appropriately.